Alright, in this video we're gonna break down the Sentinel for Dungeon Hunter 4, the app game. Alright, the Sentinel class, one of two range classes in this game. Like all the others, movement is controlled at the bottom left pad and your aim and attack is controlled at the bottom right. Just use the roll skill right there, followed by a salvo, your AoE attack, or hit and knock back all enemies in front of you. Your other attack is done by just holding down the right pad and choosing a direction to shoot in. He will basically stay in auto attack. Right here. I'm just rotating around one target to the other. Now your range attacks, just like the war mage, will hit everything in front of you. So if you can stack these guys up in front of you, you'll notice bam, your arrows hit them all. Full health at this point still. Move away. Kill him. Had a couple on me, so I took some damage. Not too bad, considering how many ads were there. And more ads. They just keep spawning. Don't ask for that. Sometimes they drop gold. And health isn't too low. Move on to the next patch. And right there, I roll into the wall, quite pro, and finally just kill these guys. A little AoE attack there. Pick up some gold. And that's it, combat for the Sentinel. And on to the skills. You have your active skills, your passive skills, and your spirit spells. Now, all your spirit spells will be the same. It's your active spells that are used on your pad. Um, and you change those and use those along with your mana. Salvo, your first one, your AoE knockback and damage. You improve that as you level up. Roll is your movement and evasion. You can position these like so into whatever feels comfortable. And the rest of your spells unlock with diamonds or as you level up. Your second level, your passive skills. Now these are passive skills. You just have to assign them to the far right box. And you don't have to do anything else but put them in there. You choose four when you have four to choose. Since I only have two, there's one, two. your spirit spells. I only have one at level 4. This does fire AoE damage all around you. Improves as you add skill points, which I haven't. Your second one unlocks at level 6, which heals mana, or heals health, and gives you mana. That's the one I recommend to save some points for. And that's it. Sentinel Breakdown. Alright, thanks for watching the Sentinel Breakdown for Dungeon Hunter 4. Please check the links below for related videos and other class breakdowns and gameplay. Please subscribe and check out my other videos. They'll always be going up. Have a good one. See you.